will discuss now about multiplying fractions. So before we will start, we will have some activity first. We will change mixed fraction to improper fraction. Next, change improper fraction to mixed fraction and then reduce to lowest term. Okay? So first, change mixed fraction to improper fraction. For example, 3 and 1 half, this is mixed fraction, we will change to improper fraction. So what? how will you change that one? Just multiply your denominator to whole number and then your product will add to your numerator. 2 times 3 is equals to 6 plus 1, that is 7. Copy your denominator. Another example. 5 and 2 over 3. Again, denominator times whole number. Then add to your numerator. 3 times 5, that is 15, plus 2, that is 17 over 3. Another example. 8 and 3 fourths. So, again, multiply, add. 4 times 8, that is 32, plus 3, that is 35, over 4. Another example, 11 and 5 over 7. 7 times 11, that is 77 plus 5, 82 over 7. So, let's go now to improper fraction, change to mixed fraction. So, how will you change this one to mixed fraction? So, just simply divide. So, 1, I mean... 3, that is 6, 1. So your remainder will be your numerator, your divisor will be your denominator, your quotient will be your whole number. Next, 17 over 3. So divide pa rin natin, 17 over 3, that is, how many 3s? 3, 5, so, 15, 2. So, 2, third, 5, and 2 third. Next, 35 over 4. So, divide natin, 35 over 4. So, 8, 32, 3. So, 3, 4, and 8, and 3, 4. Next, 82 over 7. Divide natin, 82 over 7. So, how many 7 in 82? There are uh, 8 oh, divided by 7. 1 minus 7. 1, 2. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 7, that is 1. So, 7, 5. So, 11 and 5 over 7. Next is 133 over 9. It is not in 130. So, 1, 9, or 4, 3, 4, 36. So, ilan? 7. So, 14, 7 over 9. So, ganyan lang pagkuha ng improper fraction to mixed number. So, let's proceed now to 
multiplication of fraction. So, first example. So, we will have a fraction and a whole number. So, when you multiply this one, just simply multiply 3 to your numerator. And then, copy the denominator. Or, 1 8 times 3. Diba ganyan? So, you can add 1 your denominator. After that, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Denominator times denominator, numerator times numerator. Just simply, 1 times 3, 1 times 3, 8 times 1. So, 3 over 8. Number 2 example. Three-fourth times two-third. So this is fraction multiplied by a fraction. So how will you do this one? Just simply, again, numerator times numerator. Six. Denominator times denominator. That is 12. After that one, reduce always to lowest term. So what is the comp? The greatest common factor is 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6, that is 2. Next, number 3 example. 4 and 2 third times 2 fourth. So this is now a mixed fraction and a fraction. Before you solve this one, change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. So, multiply and add. So, 3 times 4, that is 12, plus 2, that is 14. Over 3 times 2 fourths. So, after that, multiply na natin. That is 28. That is 12. This is a improper fraction. So, what will you do? Change to mixed fraction. So, there are 2, 24, 4. So, magiging 2, 2, and 4 over 12. Reduce the lowest term. 4 over 4. That is 2, 4 divided by 4, that is 1, 4 divided by 4, that is 3. So always reduce to lowest term if possible. Number 4, 2 fifth times then over 4. So, ganun pa rin. Multiply. Numerator times numerator. Denominator times denominator. That is 20 over 20. That is 1. So, easy. So, another example. 3 and 1 third times 5 and 1 fourth. So this is mixed fraction and a mixed fraction. So before you will solve this one, change first to improper fraction. Multiply and add. Okay? 3 times 3, that is. 9 plus 1, that is 10. Over 3 times, dito naman tayo, 4 times 5, that is 20, plus 1, that is 21. Over 4. 
So, normal method tayo. Multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 10 times 21. So, easy. 0 kasi yan. So, 0 na lang tayo. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 2, 2. So, that is 210 over 12. So, we will divide. This is improper. So, we will change to mixed fraction. So, 210 divided by 12. So, 1 Straight tayo dito. Kasi, two number lang yung ginamit natin. So, that is, 1 cannot be 11, 1. It's 9, 0. That is, how many? 12 in 90? There are 7. So, 84. So, 6. So, therefore, the answer will be 17, 6 over 12. If you can reduce this one, reduce this one. 2, 6 over 6. So, 6 divided by 6, that is 1. 12 divided by 6, that is 2. Then, copy the whole number. Okay. So, I will show you some method para makapili na lang kayo kung ano para sa inyo ang madali. What is that? That is cancellation method. For example, this one. We will use the example. So, can by cancellation, so change always, kahit mag-cancel na kayo, change pa rin to improper fraction. That is 10 over 3. 21 over 4. So, what will you do? Cancel. Dito, ito na. Tsaka ito. Yan. Ito yung kakancel nyo dito. Find the common factor ng 10 at tsaka 4. Dito, find the common factor of 3 and 21. So, dito sa 10 and 4, meron silang common factor na 2. So, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 10 divided by 2, that is 5. So, cancel na natin. So, dito, anong common factor nila? 3 at saka 21. So, that is 3. Cancel natin. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 21 divided by 3, that is 7. After that, nakuha nyo na yung sagot, we will multiply na. 5 times 7, that is 35. 1 times 2, that is 2. So that, this is improper fraction, change to mixed, fra mixed fraction. So 35 divided by 2. So 3 divided by 2, this is 1, 2, 15, 7, that is 14. So 1. So the answer will be 17 and 1 half. So, it's up to you kung ano yung sa, anong gagamitin mo. Ito or ito. It's up to you. Pero, mas madali, cancellation lang. Kasi, mas easy, mas madali. Next example is factorization. Ano yung factorization? Method. Okay, we will use this again as an example. So, always change to improper fraction. So, that is 10 third times 21 over 4. So, factorization. Next, we will find the prime factors of the numerators and the denominators. We will find the numerator or the prime numbers, prime factors of numerator denominator at saka denominator. So, how? Ganito. So, anong factor ng prime factor ng 10? So, that is 2 
and 5. By the way, what is what are the prime numbers? So, ano yung prime numbers? Start tayo sa 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Yung divisible by itself lang, hindi 2 or more. Only 1 and itself lang. Okay? And 3. Next, ito, find the prime factor, that is 3 and 7. Dito, 2 and 2. So, after that, we will combine the same factor to form a fraction. So, 2 and 2, ito. Tsaka ito. Next, ito. Tsaka ito. So, ang naiwan, ito. Tsaka ito. So, 5 times 7. At saka meron pang isa. So, after that, this is 1 times 1. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. Times 5 times 7, that is 35 over 2. So, simplify natin yung fraction. That is 1 times 1, that is 1. 1 times 30, 35 over 2, that is 35 over 2. Next, like that, this is improper fraction, change to mixed fraction. So, how? Divide na naman. So, 1, 2, 1, 5. So, that is 7, 14, 1. So, the answer is, 17 and 1 half. So, saan dito yung madali? Yung normal method, yung cancellation method, or the factorization method. So, it's up to you to decide. So, practice lang yan siya. Practice, practice para maging matalino. So, matdali para maging matdali. So, that's all. So, sana maka makakatulong itong video na ito. So, please subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos. Okay, thank you for watching.